Frostbite. Terror in the Arctic. The blizzard howled, a living beast clawing at their tent. Inside, huddled around a flickering kerosene lamp, the three explorers, Finn, Anya, and Liam, were tense. The wind whipped snow into a frenzy, obscuring everything beyond a few feet. It's getting worse, Finn muttered, his voice strained over the wind's roar. He glanced at the storm gauge, a simple contraption of rope and a weighted bucket, which swayed ominously in the wind. We're close to a whiteout. We're supposed to be at the next camp by nightfall, Anya said, her fingers tracing the outline of the map on the table. We should head out now before it's too late. Liam, the youngest of the group, shivered. I just hope whatever made that noise earlier doesn't come back. They had heard it, a guttural growl, deep and primal, that seemed to vibrate through the very ice. They had assumed it was a polar bear, but there was something off about the sound, something unnatural in its intensity. It was probably just a bear, Finn said, trying to sound reassuring. They're territorial this time of year. But even as he spoke, a nagging sense of unease gnawed at him. He couldn't shake the feeling that something was watching them, something more than a hungry bear. Suddenly the tent fabric ripped with a tearing sound. A wave of icy wind slammed into them, extinguishing the lamp and plunging them into darkness. A low growl, closer now, sent chills down their spines. Bear! Anya shouted, scrambling for her backpack. Panic surged through them, a primal fear that threatened to consume them. They fumbled in the darkness, their hands brushing against cold metal and rough fabric. Where's the rifle? Finn yelled, his voice trembling. Anya's hand found it, the weight of the weapon a small comfort against the rising terror. The growl came again, closer, closer still. They could feel the icy breath of the creature on the tent fabric, its claws scraping against the canvas. Liam, his voice choked with fear, whispered, it's not a bear. It's too big. Anya, her heart pounding in her chest, squeezed her eyes shut. She felt the tent fabric begin to tear, then a sudden, horrifying pressure as something large and heavy slammed against it. A deafening roar filled the air, a sound that seemed to crack the very ice beneath them. Then, silence. They huddled together, their bodies trembling their breath shallow and ragged. The tent was torn, the fabric hanging loose, revealing a dark void beyond. They could see the faint glow of the blizzard, but nothing else. We need to get out of here, Finn said, his voice raspy. With trembling hands, they unzipped the tent flap and stumbled out into the blinding whiteout. The wind howled, whipping snow into their faces, and the world was a swirling vortex of white. They ran, blindly, their bodies cold and numb, the terrifying roar echoing in their ears. They ran until their legs burned and their lungs screamed for air, but they dared not stop. They had no idea what was chasing them, but they knew it wasn't a bear. It was something older, something more ancient, something born of the darkness that lay beneath the frozen wasteland. As they stumbled through the storm, a faint, eerie light appeared in the distance. Finn, squinting against the blizzard, recognized the outline of an old, abandoned research station. This way, he shouted, pointing toward the structure. With renewed hope, they pushed forward, the monstrous growls fading behind them. They reached the station and stumbled inside, slamming the door shut against the fury of the storm. The interior was dim, filled with the remnants of a long-forgotten expedition. We should be safe here, Anya said, her voice shaking. But as they caught their breath, a chill colder than the wind settled over them. Strange symbols were carved into the walls, and ancient texts lay scattered across the floor. These markings, Liam whispered, they're not from any modern language. They look prehistoric. A sudden realization hit Finn. This station must have been used to study something they found in the ice, something they shouldn't have disturbed. 
Anya's eyes widened. You mean, we're not the first to encounter that thing out there? A low, echoing growl reverberated through the walls, confirming their fears. The creature was still out there, and it was getting closer. The three explorers huddled together, knowing that the storm outside was no longer their worst enemy. They had awakened an ancient horror, and it would not rest until it claimed them all. The growl echoed through the abandoned research station, a chilling reminder of the nightmare they had escaped, if only for a moment. Finn, Anya, and Liam scanned the dimly lit room, their eyes wide with terror. We need to barricade the doors, Finn said, his voice urgent. It won't hold that thing off for long, but it might give us some time. They scrambled to push heavy cabinets, tables, and anything they could find against the entrance. The wind howled outside, and the structure creaked as if it might collapse under the storm's fury. Anya examined the strange symbols on the walls, her fingers tracing the ancient carvings. These markings... They're some kind of warning. This place wasn't just a research station. It was a prison for that creature. Liam shuddered, clutching his arms to stave off the cold. Why would they trap it here? What could be so dangerous? Finn joined Anya, looking at the symbols. Whatever it is, they went to great lengths to contain it. But something must have gone wrong. Maybe the storm weakened the structure, or someone accidentally set it free. A sudden loud crash interrupted their thoughts. The barricade shuddered as if something immense had thrown itself against it. The growl was closer now, reverberating through the walls. We need to find another way out, Finn said, his eyes darting around the room. There has to be an escape route. They searched the room frantically. Anya found a trap door hidden beneath a layer of debris. Over here, she called. Together they pried it open, revealing a narrow tunnel leading down into darkness. It's our only chance, Finn said, motioning for them to descend. One by one, they climbed down the ladder into the tunnel, the growls and crashes growing louder behind them. The air was thick with the scent of damp earth and ancient decay. The tunnel seemed to stretch endlessly, lit only by the faint glow of their headlamps. As they moved deeper into the passage, Anya's thoughts raced. There must be a reason why this tunnel was here. Maybe it leads to another exit, or a place where they studied the creature. Finn nodded. We have to keep moving. If we can find out more about what we're dealing with, we might stand a chance. The tunnel opened into a vast underground chamber, lined with rows of rusted metal cages and more of the strange symbols. In the center of the room, an enormous stone tablet stood, inscribed with the same eerie carvings. Anya approached the tablet, her eyes scanning the text. This isn't just a prison, it's a tomb. They didn't just trap the creature, they buried it alive. Finn shuddered. But it's not dead. It must have been in stasis, waiting for the right conditions to break free. Liam's voice trembled. So how do we stop it? Can we even kill it? Anya examined the tablet closely. There are instructions here, a ritual maybe. If we can perform it, we might be able to seal it away again. The ground shook as another roar echoed through the chamber. The creature was getting closer its presence a palpable force. We don't have much time, Finn said. What do we need for the ritual? Anya read the inscriptions quickly. Salt, fire, and an incantation. There should be supplies around here. This place was built to contain the creature. Start looking. They scattered, searching the room. Liam found a box of salt. Finn unearthed an old kerosene lantern and Anya discovered a dusty, leather-bound book with the necessary incantation. Quickly, Anya said, pouring a circle of salt around the stone tablet. Finn lit the lantern, placing it at the center, and Anya began to chant the incantation. The air grew thick with an unnatural energy. The growls grew louder, the creature almost upon them. The ground trembled, 
and the walls seemed to close in around them. Anya's voice rose above the chaos, her words resonating with power. As she finished the incantation, a blinding light erupted from the stone tablet, enveloping the chamber. The growls turned to screams of agony, then faded into silence. When the light subsided, the chamber was still. The oppressive presence was gone, and the air felt lighter. We did it, Anya whispered, her voice trembling with relief. We sealed it away. Finn and Liam collapsed to the ground, exhaustion overtaking them. They had survived, but the memory of the ancient horror would haunt them forever. We need to get back to the surface, Finn said, his voice weak but determined, and warn the others. No one can ever come here again. As they made their way back through the tunnel, the storm outside began to die down. The world above awaited them, but they knew that the true danger lay buried beneath the ice, in a place where darkness and ancient evil would forever sleep. Or so they hoped. Thank you for diving into the spine-chilling mysteries with chills unveiled. If you've enjoyed the eerie tales and creepy narratives that send shivers down your spine, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more hair-raising content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an unveiling of the unknown. Join the community of thrill seekers and let the darkness unfold. Subscribe now and let the nightmares continue.